Well, there's a new bill being proposed in the Pennsylvania State Senate that would offer new protections for minors, like requiring parental consent for kids under 16 to open mm -hmm. social media accounts and banning data mining for users under 18. And it's sponsored by Republican State Senator Kristen Phillips Hill and Democratic State Senator Vincent Hughes, who represents parts of Philadelphia and That's Montgomery me. County, of course. That's him. Yes. Me. That's so Senator, Senator Hughes. Hughes. <laughs> yes. Just, yes. You'll want to get them confused. This is Senator <laughs> oh Hughes. Bipartisan yes. for sure. Absolutely. Thank God somebody's doing something, but this is an uphill climb. What would the bill do? So th think about this in the context of mental health, and I know. I'm really on, so you can ask me questions about Cheryl. Well, yeah. I understand that. <laughs> so, that only reason. I'm clear the on that. Cheryl okay. Ralph, of course. Yeah. So, but think about mental health, and, and there's a, been a huge increase in sure. mental health services for young people. Huge increase. Uh, and uh, we know it, there's a connection with social media. Yes. So what we're trying to do in a very simple fashion is provide some parental consent uh, if if, if, if a child gets onto social media without parental consent, parents must be notified. Uh, and who would do the notifying? Would, would the app have to do that? It, or? Would, it, would, it would likely have to come through the application. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then, um, as you said, prohibit data mining um, and require some, some deletion if you are of all those your social media activity if you're younger than 18 years of age. And you all know that. Um, we're not necessarily our most responsible selves when we're younger than 18 years yeah. of age. And what is data mining, for those who don't know? Data mining is just utilizing all of the data that comes through your devices mm -hmm. and um, can be utilized in a very negative way mm -hmm. uh, that, that can drive uh, the need for mental health services. Any other state doing this? It's passed in Utah, in a number Utah. Of, of all places. Yeah. A number of other states uh, have introduced legislation. There's been bipartisan legislation introduced in Washington, D.C. We want to work with all of those entities to find out what's working best. We want to work with the industry as well to make sure that there's no unintended consequences. But yeah. we're trying to give some parents, um, all parents, a little bit more help uh, because social media um, without guidelines, all right, can can really be a driving factor it, uh, yeah. in mental health. It is. is. But how would this be enforced? Because wouldn't you have to work with Meta or some of the social media companies, and wouldn't they have to enact something in the agree. app that you'd have to click, say, they, have they, insert? Mm -hmm. Like, seems like there this is one part. There has to be some cooperation. There mm -hmm. has to be some cooperation. Okay. And we're not uh, entering this legislation with a with a hammer. All right, we're entering the, into this legislation to try to engage the social media companies. Um, to also strengthen parents and their abilities to try to gain some control over this proliferation of young people involved in social media. And as I said, there's very little guardrails. We all know this. I mean, mm -hmm. just in our own interactions with social media, it's very little guardrails. What we want to do is provide parents a little bit of extra help. It seems like the toothpaste is out of the tube already. How are you going to get it back in the tube? Well, if we don't do something, then it'll just keep spilling all yeah. over the, the bathroom true. sink, right? You know, yeah. we've got to uh, look at this, look at this issue of mental health for young people. And remember, I asked folks to go back to that first notion. This is a providing some assistance because our young people are seeking more mental health services or families are seeking more mental health services for their children. I don't know. Who would not be on board with this? Well, we're going to find out. Yeah, I guess We've so. we got bipartisan uh, support on this. Senator Kristen Phillips from York, Pennsylvania, um, Republican, uh, has uh, uh, signed on. We're all working together to try yeah. to move this forward. It's not going to happen quickly. Uh, but we and we want to do something that works with everyone, all of the stakeholders, to try to come up with the best legislation. All right, well, let's get to the crux of the segment. How Shirley Ralph <laughs> She's doing extremely well. <laughs> she received her honorary doctorate yesterday from Rutgers University, her wow. alma mater. What uh, can't she do? Um, I, she's got to get elected to vote on legislation, but she leaves that to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you know, she was one of the first women to graduate from Rutgers University yeah. many, many years ago, mm -hmm. and she never, she didn't get a chance to uh, walk at her commencement because she got a Skippy peanut butter commercial um, that paid her thirty thousand dollars, and wow. they were taping the same day. Is that right? That's true. Yeah. Now, I've, I've always wondered why there's Skippy peanut butter everywhere we are. Okay, it's kind of like an. <laughs> she oh, won't go Jif you know, any. Uh, no, no, Skippy. Skippy. She's loyal. Um, Philly, L.A., wherever. Was it Skippy. creamy or nutty? Uh, <laughs> a little bit of both. A little bit of both. All right, you know. All right. <laughs>